Since my injury in 1997, our medical system, political system, and legal system have all done their best to keep me from the one medication that helps my condition. The simple fact that denying hemp's use to me could lead to my death does not seem to matter to them. In Canada, we have what is known as the Marijuana Access Program. Even if a person is lucky enough, through this program, to be granted a license to possess hemp, they are not allowed to collect resins or to make the essential oil that contains the real medicinal value of the hemp plant. You can smoke hemp joints till the cows come home, but it is highly unlikely that smoking hemp will cure your cancer, and the government knows it. The public have been led to believe that all you have to do is see your doctor for a prescription for hemp. The reality is that you have a better chance of winning the lottery. There is approximately only about 2,000 people in this country that have a license to possess hemp. After over two years of dealing with our legal system, I am truly sickened. What chance does an ordinary man have when laws and the people that enforce them are denying reality? During my charter challenge, about four dozen sworn affidavits from people who had used hemp oil for many different medical conditions were presented. These affidavits were dismissed as if they meant nothing. Nine months later, at my Supreme Court trial, I had ten patients and six doctors ready to testify, but none were allowed on the stand. When you have people who have been cured with terminal cancer ready to testify, and doctors there to back it up, why would their testimony be disallowed? It seems that the justice system isn't looking very hard for a cure. Anyone can see the loss of revenue that the free use of hemp in medicine presents to the drug companies. But also, it is easy to see the suffering that hemp's medical restriction is causing. Are profits really more important than the health and welfare of the people who inhabit this planet? Presently, we here at Phoenix Tears are launching a worldwide internet protest to bring hemp back into mainstream medicinal use. Our hope is that many other websites out there and the public will support this protest to lift the restrictions governments have put in place against hemp's use. The future of humanity rests on the success of this protest. Get involved. Your life and the lives of your loved ones are at stake. And now the end is near And so I think the final curtain My friend I'll say it quick I'll state my case Of which I'm certain I've lived A life that's full I've traveled down Each and every high and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do. I saw it through without exemption I planned each charter course Each careful step along the highway And more, much more than this I did it Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew When I bit off All that I could chew I threw it off There was no doubt I ate it up And spit it out I threw it off Yes, I
I had laughed and cried I had my share My share of losing And now As tears subside I find it all So amusing To think I did all that And may I say Not in a shot Oh no Oh no, not me I did it not Oh, what is a man What has he got If not himself And he has not to say